Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to use PaintShop Pro to create an intro graphic for the videos that you upload to YouTube and other places. This is an example of the type of graphic we're going to create. Now you notice that on most of my video intro graphics I have a black background with white text and a red line. And the reason I do that is that that generally gives the best results on YouTube and other places. So let's see how we go about this. First thing I'm going to do is close this one down and click File, New, and I'm going to open an image that's got the same width and height of my video, in this case 640 by 480, and I want the background color to be black. Click OK, and there's my image right there. First thing I do is I want to select the color that I want to use for the titles. And in PaintShop Pro, I've got white already selected, and I can just click that to change to bring it to the foreground, or I can click on it and select the color there. We'll do that. And then I'll click the Text tool right down here, and bring it up here and type in the title. In this case, creating video titles with PaintShop Pro. I want to center this particular title and I want to select anti-alias. And in this case, I'm using a Courier new font. You can use any font you want. I like to bold my titles and in this case, the font size is 36. I click OK and I move that title basically where I want it on the screen. And right click it to stamp the title. And I want to put more than that. I want to put my name and where they can find more videos like this. Left click again with the with the text toolbar. And I'll put Bill Myers and my website address. And because I want this to be a little bit smaller, I'm going to change the font size down to 24. And there it is right there. I'm going to move it to the right and put it right there. And if I don't like the way that looks, I can click undo and delete and try it again. This time let's do it with a left alignment. Yeah, I like that better, so we'll put it right there. Right click. Now that's kind of plain, and the way I spice my titles up is I put a underline under this area here. And the first thing to do that is I select red as my color. I can click red and select red from the toolbar box. And then I select the underline tool now. To, to show it, I have to scoot up a little bit. Right there is the line tool. And if I hold down shift key while I drag my mouse, It'll give me a straight line. And that's a pretty nice looking title. I think I'm going to keep that. Once I have a title the way I want it, I'll do a file, save as, and I generally save my titles as PNP files, which open up in most graphics programs, and give it a title name, and it's saved. Now, to import that title into any graphics program, you just open that file and, and place it where you want. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more tips like this, visit www.bmyers.com.